Now, the Foreign Secretary Boris Johnson is reported to be furious about leaked comments from EU ambassadors who tell Sky News, amongst others, that he had told them he supports free movement of people within the EU. Well, let's put that straight away then to the man himself, to the Foreign Secretary. He joins me now. Very good morning to you, Boris Johnson. Well, uh, let's, good morning, uh, let's hear How from the you? horse's mouth, if you excuse the, the phrase. Do you privately support free movement of people within the EU? No. No, and I thought it was very wrong of whoever cooked that story up to put it to the, those ambassadors in, in that way, because what I, what I said was very clearly that uh, I'm, I'm a, a backer of, of immigration, but controlled immigration. I've always made it very clear that, you know, when I was mayor of this city, London, where I am now, I thought... Uh, it, there were ways in which the economy benefited from having a, a great diversity of talent in the workforce. But when people feel the strain of that in their lives, you, politicians have got to be able to control it. And that was a large amount of the, uh, that was what the, a lot of the referendum campaign uh, turned out to be about. So what I said to them was I was pro uh, people coming to London to offer their talent and their originality, but it had to be controlled. And unfortunately, uh, something got lost in the communication to, um, I don't know whether your reporter actually sure, talked sure to those speak, ambassadors. I, I'm, I'm feeling, sure you know, uh, if, if they're didn't. ambassadors, but, sorry, but, sorry, Foreign Secretary, but, if they're ambassadors to the UK, I'm sure they all speak very good English. I mean, you know, either they're dissembling or, or lying or, or you are. Four ambassadors said uh, they heard it uh, several times. You said it's not government policy, but you do support free move, movement. That's no, four of them. They're, no, they're well, not that's, lying. No, that's complete nonsense. Did, did, yes, uh, well, I, I think that they have been misrepresented. And if I may say so, I'm not entirely convinced that your reporter talked to, to those ambassadors. And uh, I think, actually, uh, there were plenty of people at that breakfast. And it was, a, I remember it vividly, it was a, we actually have a, a note by my own Foreign Office officials of what I said. And it was very clear. I said uh, that I was pro-immigration for people of talent, but it had to be controlled. Now, um, something has obviously gone wrong in the uh, in the trans in the translation of that or the communication of that, but uh, since then, plenty of uh, other ambassadors have come forward to, uh, or perhaps the same ambassadors have come forward to to stand up my version of events. So I mean, this is the kind of thing, not, I mean, Dermot, Mr. that you are going to get in in the in the run up to these negotiations. There will be all sorts of malarkey. There will be all sorts of people uh, trying to. Uh, say one thing or the other about the British negotiating position. My, my view is very, very clear. I do think that uh, immigration, uh, controlled immigration, has been a good thing, but it's got to be, it's got to be something that politicians are held accountable for. When you have large numbers coming from the EU without any system of control, then people feel that they're, uh, they're not taking decisions about their own country in a way that they should. And well, Mr. Johnson, that's, yeah, that's very okay. important. I just want to rewind a minute. I mean, because you seem to suggest that uh, perhaps the journalists and indeed a Sky News journalist might have been making it up. Now, uh, you know, in the past, we know that uh, as a journalist, um, you did that kind of thing. I, I mean, surely it's accurate reporting. I'm sorry, old man. I'm sorry, man. Look, I, I think I think I, 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 I want you. I, I, I great respect, Dermot. Uh, I think you, you know, uh, your story was a dud. It was uh, wrong. It was a load of old baloney. Uh, that's not your fault. It's not, perhaps not, it's not even the fault of the, the journalist. I don't necessarily blame him. Uh, he, he was offered something which is completely untrue. It's nonsense. I think most of your viewers will understand uh, exactly what my position is. It's been my position for a very long time. Do you think there's a campaign to right. destabilise you, wherever it's coming from? No. I, I think that, uh, you know, there was, there was one story which, unfortunately... Uh, you know, uh, was not right. Um, I'm glad that it's been it's been corrected, and people can understand what we're trying to to do. And uh, you know, uh, great respect to to Sky News and all your magnificent journalism. That story did not quite reflect my views, and that those are that you can have immigration, but it's got to be controlled, and you've also got to take back control of uh, your money, uh, you've got to take back control of our, our democracy, of our laws, and you've got to be in a position to do free trade deals, and that is what the Prime Minister wants to achieve. And just tell me on Brexit, I mean, are you in favour, again, it's been uh, floated around today that uh, David Davis, the uh, Brexit Minister yourself, uh, are in favour of some kind of continuing payments, payments uh, to the European Union after Brexit for some kind of access? Is that something you could live with? 
Well, what uh, what David has said is that that's the kind of thing that could be considered, but we are not getting, as you know, into a running commentary on our negotiations. I think I've given you a pretty uh, fair four-point analysis of what we need to achieve. Uh, control of borders, control of money, control of laws, and the ability to do free trade deals. That's uh, within those ideas, those very simple ideas, is a wealth of information about the kind of deal that we want. And um, I've no doubt that we can achieve it. And it will be good, not just for the UK, it will be good for Europe, the whole of Europe as well. Two quick fire questions to end. You may be uh, aware that I recently interviewed uh, your uh, shadow, the shadow foreign secretary, Emily Thornberry. She accused me of doing a pub quiz on her. And I wouldn't ask uh, you questions like this. Who is the French foreign minister? The name, please. Uh, if you wanted to have a pub quiz, uh, Dom, I'll be very happy to meet you in the pub. But uh, the French foreign minister is mon, mon ami, Jean-Marc Hérault. Uh, and I know, him, I know him very well. And we've had, uh, and, and, and by the way, he's an example of the, uh, the kind of um, Jean-Marc and I, you know, if you look back over the, over the history of it, Jean-Marc uh, began uh, our relationship by saying some pretty, pretty crusty things about me, some pretty frosty things, I should say. And uh, that has, uh, has, has changed a huge amount. And people across the EU and, uh, and the wider world are now seeing not the downsides, they're seeing the possibilities, the opportunities, all the exciting things we can do with the Brexit vote, how to uh, build a, a, an even more global Britain. And that's what uh, I've been talking about. And uh, people are, are, are very encouraged by some of the things they're hearing from London. Just a last quick stab at the other question. Emily struggled with um, South Korean president and all her troubles. We are not getting into a, uh, a pub quiz about uh, leaders around the world. And I will, I will, I'm, I'm going to, uh, with great respect, invite you out to the pub. Dermot, so, so that we can we can take these conversations further. I'm I have a terrible feeling if I keep answering you, you will keep coming back with more. No, have a good morning. The, See you. It was it was only the two. Oh well, thank you very much indeed. Do, don't you want enlightenment? Uh, you might be meeting a Park Goon, the uh, the South Korean president, and bye bye there to the Foreign Secretary uh, Boris Johnson. There uh, talking to us in the main about uh, Brexit. One out of two ain't bad.